Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily create some cool dust particle effects in your scene. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel, because there's loads and loads to learn. With that in mind, let's get to work. So dust particles are, in its simplest form, just a particle system really, really small. And the best way to do it is if we quite literally go to game object, go to effects, and then particle system. And you can see by default, it looks much like this, but that's not really dusty at all. So there's a couple of different little things that we can do in here to make it much more dust-like. So I'm gonna tick on pre-warm, and what that'll do is it will make it seem as though it, it's already been running while we haven't been in the scene. Start speed, I'm gonna to reduce to point maybe two. So quite slow. And start size, I'm going to reduce quite a lot. So 0.1, that's still too big, way too big. So 0 0.03 maybe. And what I'll do is I will say the shape is going to be a sphere because we want it to be large. Radius is going to be much larger. And if we press play, we can already see the particles in a dust format taking shape. Now there is more to this, we just need to kind of work on it a little bit more. We want to randomize direction because that will make it seem a little bit more, not realistic, but realistic to an extent. We also want to randomize position. So if we press play now, we should see this a little bit more particle-like and we can see the particles floating around in the air. Now we don't want them to suddenly pop in and pop out. So what we can also do is if we go down this list, we can see size over lifetime. So if we tick this and then click on the little bar here to change it and down the bottom, you'll see this red line. We now need to add in a key somewhere in the middle. So right click and then add key. What this will do is it will make our particle, each separate particle start completely dis dis disappeared, not non-existent. And then it will bring it into full view, so it will make it completely visible, and then it will fade it out at the end. So the dust particles will look like they fade in and out. They don't seem quite so, you know, vulgar, as it were. So realistically, there's many more things you can do. In its simplest terms, though, that's pretty much how we can get the dust to just kind of look dusty. Now... Another thing I want to uh, touch upon is if we go to a mission, we can change this to, let's say, 100 and press play once again. And we can see much more dust particles. Now, some of these look way too big. So I think we should reduce this to 0 0.01. And let's have rate over time, maybe 200. And let's say the radius is going to be about five. So it's a little bit wider now. So these are roughly the settings that you can play around with to get your dust particles just floating around. And you can even go with the color and reduce the alpha if you need, or rather reduce the alpha and reduce the color to a gray if you wanted to. So you just you can see some ever so slightly dust particles floating around now like right there but like I say you don't have to it's entirely up to you how you want your dust particles to be but in its simplest term that is how you can quickly and easily create dust particles in any scene in your game hope that's helped guys and if you want to know any more let me know in the comments below uh yeah i'll see you around the next tutorial thanks very much for watching guys